how to copy sketches in one part as well as across multiple components. Coming up. Let's start by copying some sketches. So what I'd like to do is create my first sketch on the front plane. I start sketching. I'm going to start at the origin, draw out, sketch a line, do a line, and then I'm going to use that trick to go into an arc. So I'm about to draw another line, and instead, if I drag, click and drag at this point, it turns into a tangent arc. Nice little shortcut. Use that if you like it. And let's add in some additional constraints so that before we copy this, um, we have it kind of locked into the exact design that I'm wanting. And I can, of course, change these dimensions later if I need to. So I'll do an angle by selecting these two lines. That drops an angle. Type in the value I want. And I'm going to draw, I'm going to sketch a line. This is where it gets a little interesting for trying to constrain this. I'm going to turn this into a construction line. You can right click and choose that. What I want to do is I want that arc to kind of, you know, how it would line up tangent with that line. That's what I'm going to do. Right click, choose tangent. And now it's locked in. Great. Fully defined, fully constrained. And what we want to do is copy and paste this into another sketch. So what I'm going to do is select it, hit Control C, and then, or Command C if you're on a Mac, and drop that onto a new sketch plane. Real quick, you may have noticed when I was dragging this, there's ways to select what you're doing in the direction of the drag. It matters. So this oddly enough, is totally different than that. Can you see the difference? When I do it from this direction where I'm trending to the left, I'm more liberal, right? Think politics for a second. If you're trending to the left, you're more liberal. If you're trending to the right, you're more conservative. So even though it's the same box, this one only grabs the things that are totally in the box. But if you're trending to the left, anything it touches or it, or it contains, it grabs both. So that's a great selection technique. Um, that works in AutoCAD and SolidWorks and other tools as well. OK, finish the sketch. Start a new plane. Look at my planes. Construct. I'm going to offset this, drag it off into space, or type in the value that I want. Let's say we're going to loft this. I'm making an airplane. Or, uh, you know, I'm making a lofted profile where the shapes are the same, but just different sizes or scale differently, maybe. Select it, hit Control V. Okay, be sure to start your sketch. Hit Control V, drags it in, drops it in, excuse me. And it brings up the move copy. So now we could actually drag this uh, around and get this maybe placed in space where we want it to be. And what we want to do is I can maybe even drag these to where they kind of align, or I could use uh, sketch constraints to align them if I want to. But we'll drag this on. What I want to do is I want to scale this new entity. So I'll type scale in the search. And I'm in the sketch. It is sensitive to what you select. And you may have noticed there were two different types of scale. Uh, there's the feature scale and the sketch scale. They both seem to work great in this exact instance. I would use sketch just out of habit um, because I'm in the sketch. The box select actually kind of restricts me a little bit because it's got all the points and those are getting scaled. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the major entities and the endpoint that I care about scaling from, do that. Great. So now I have my shape. Let's hit loft. Finish this out. Terrific. Now, what if you were going to opposing sides, right? And this isn't necessarily a loft profile, but instead I'm going to copy and paste this into um, kind of this 90 degree angle plane. So I select that one, start a sketch, hit Control V. It drags it in, and this is not uncommon for it to drop it in the way that maybe is the opposite of what you were thinking or intending. So we have these rotation angles. We can just flip it over 180. That's one easy way to do it, as well as we can manipulate this by dragging and kind of aligning this either numerically. Now that I have the two sketches, I could extrude both. 
This could be a cut. Or we can use uh, what's called the combine command, where I have two different bodies, and we can solve where they touch. Select the two bodies, and I'm going to do the command where it grabs only where they intersect. So kind of that shared volume, creating a little bit more. Let's look at one more example when you're working with multiple components. This is a challenge. I've seen this come up a bunch on the forums where people want to move you know, a sketch entity to another component. So what I'll do is activate the component I care about, come in, sketch the shape I want, I sketch the, let's do a new one just to practice. So I'll start a sketch. Okay, so I start my sketch on this face, sketch the shape. We'll uh, use some fillets. Around these edges. Okay, now cut it. Okay, so we have this new sketch, and I'd like to leverage that on a different component. Again, kind of the same methodology, so we'll find the sketch that we just did while we still have it. can edit it and find it, select it, hit Control-C, and now I'll double-click on a different body, activate that body, and then in this new body, I'm going to start a sketch, find the plane that I care about, in this particular case, I'll find my existing three planes. I'd like to do one on this plane. Select it, hit Sketch, Control-V. It drags it in. Let's isolate this body. I'll right-click on it. There we go. Come back to the sketch. There he is. All right, so it's down at the bottom. I can use the move command. S, find the move copy, select it, drag it up, put it where we want to. Maybe start dimensioning, place this where it needs to rest. As well as we can, of course, rotate this to get it. So important thing and final takeaway, this sketch stands on its own. It's not linked. There's no equation driving it. It's, um, it's using the other as a reference to get started. But going forward, if I change the original sketch on the blade, it does not speak to. And that's copying sketches. Thanks for watching.